The Tao Te Ching, authored by Lao Tzu, is a seminal text in Taoism and Chinese philosophy, offering profound wisdom on harmony, simplicity, and the nature of existence. It teaches the virtues of humility, compassion, and alignment with the Tao, guiding readers toward a life of peace and balance. 1. Simplicity, Patience, Compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. Simple in actions and thoughts, you return to the source of being. Patient with both friends and enemies, you accord with the way things are. Compassionate toward yourself, you reconcile all beings in the world. In the essence of Taoist wisdom, Lao Tzu highlights simplicity, patience, compassion as the pillars of a harmonious existence. Simplicity urges us to strip away the unnecessary, focusing on the essence of being, thereby living with clarity and peace. It's about aligning our actions and thoughts with our true nature, reducing life's complexities to their purest form. Patience, both with friends and foes, teaches us to accept the unfolding of life with equanimity, recognizing that everything occurs in its own time. This acceptance aligns us with the Tao, the natural order of the universe, fostering a deep sense of peace. Compassion towards oneself extends outward, enabling a reconciliation with the world. By cultivating self-compassion, we heal not only ourselves but foster a kinder, more understanding world. These treasures, when embraced, guide us back to our authentic selves and through us, harmonize the world around us, embodying the profound wisdom of Lao Tzu. Mark 2. Knowing others is intelligence. Knowing yourself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. Lao Tzu teaches us that understanding others reflects intelligence a capacity to navigate the external world with acuity. Yet true wisdom emerges from a deep, introspective journey into the self, uncovering the layers of our being and understanding our essence. This wisdom transcends mere knowledge, guiding us towards inner peace and enlightenment. Similarly, exerting influence or control over others may display strength, a form of external power. However, true power is found in self-mastery, the ability to control one's actions, emotions, and desires. This internal dominion is the highest form of strength, for it is the foundation of a balanced and harmonious life. Thus, Lao Tzu illuminates the path to wisdom and power, not through dominion over others, but through understanding and mastering oneself. 3. Those who know do not speak. Those who speak do not know. In the silent depths of wisdom, Lao Tzu whispers, Those who know do not speak. Those who speak do not know, guiding us to understand that true knowledge and enlightenment often reside in quiet contemplation rather than in the abundance of words. This aphorism suggests that those truly versed in the ways of the Tao, or the ultimate truth of existence, embrace humility and the power of listening, recognizing that the essence of understanding transcends verbal expression. Conversely, those quick to speak and assert knowledge may lack genuine depth as true insight requires introspection and the acknowledgement of the vast unknown. This teaching advocates for the value of silence, introspection, and the profound realization that words can sometimes limit the expanse of our understanding. It invites us to seek wisdom beyond the superficial layer of speech encouraging a journey inward to the place where knowledge is felt and experienced rather than spoken. 4. When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everyone will respect you. In the wisdom of Lao Tzu, finding peace in one's own essence without the need for external validation is the pinnacle of self-realization. When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, Everyone will respect you speaks to the liberation that comes from embracing one's true nature. The act of comparison and competition entangles us in a never-ending cycle of dissatisfaction, always looking outward to gauge our worth. However, when we release ourselves from these chains, we stand in our power, authentic and unswayed by the opinions and achievements of others. This authenticity resonates deeply with those around us, 
compelling respect not for what we achieve, but for the grace of being holy ourselves. Such contentment and self-assurance are magnetic, drawing others to recognize and honor our inherent value. In this, Lao Tzu teaches us that respect is a natural consequence of self-contentment and authenticity, not something to be forcefully sought through external accomplishments or comparisons. 5. The truth is not always beautiful, nor beautiful words the truth. In the profound simplicity of Taoist wisdom, the saying, the truth is not always beautiful, nor beautiful words the truth, serves as a beacon of discernment. This aphorism reveals the complex nature of truth, which, unlike the allure of eloquently crafted phrases, does not cater to our aesthetic desires or comfort. Truth, in its essence, transcends the realm of beauty and ugliness. It exists as an unvarnished reality that demands acknowledgement regardless of its appeal. Conversely, beautiful words, while pleasing to the ear and heart, may not always convey the authenticity of our existence or the universe. Lao Tzu teaches us to seek beyond the surface, to value the essence over the appearance. This wisdom encourages us to embrace the truth for its inherent worth, cultivating a discerning spirit that recognizes the difference between mere eloquence and genuine insight. Thus, in the pursuit of understanding, we are guided to look past the facade, finding truth not in its adornment, but in its purity. 6. A man with outward courage dares to die. A man with inner courage dares to live. In the depths of wisdom, Lao Tzu might convey that a man with outward courage dares to die. A man with inner courage dares to live. To illuminate the profound distinction between the valor seen in facing mortality and the more subtle yet profound bravery required to face life's myriad challenges. Outward courage, the kind that faces physical dangers, is often celebrated invisible. It's the courage of warriors and heroes who confront the specter of death for a cause, an ideal, or in defense of others. However, inner courage, as Lao Tzu suggests, is the rarer and deeper strength. It's the courage to confront our own fears, doubts, and insecurities, to embrace vulnerability, to persevere through hardship, and to continue finding meaning and joy in the complexity of existence. This inner courage asks us to face the uncertainties of life, to remain open-hearted in the face of suffering, and to choose life with all its vicissitudes each day anew. It's a call to live deeply, authentically, and with purpose, recognizing that the greatest bravery lies in the continuous choice to embrace life's journey. <laughs> 7. Do you have the patience to wait until your mud settles and the water is clear? Lao Tzu, in his infinite wisdom, invites us to contemplate the virtue of patience through the metaphor, do you have the patience to wait until your mud settles and the water is clear? This query challenges us to consider the state of our minds and lives as a turbulent pond, clouded by the sediment of our thoughts, emotions, and external circumstances. Just as agitated water takes time to become clear once the mud settles, so too do our minds require the stillness of patience to see things as they truly are. This profound question urges us to resist the impulse to act in haste or succumb to the turmoil of immediate reactions. Instead, it encourages us to embrace the quietude and clarity that come with waiting, suggesting that true understanding and right action emerge only from a place of calm and undisturbed reflection. Thus, Lao Tzu teaches us that patience is not merely a passive waiting, but an active engagement in the process of becoming clear-sighted and wise. 8. The flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long. Lao Tzu's insight, the flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long, offers a meditation on the nature of intensity and sustainability. This metaphorical wisdom suggests that living with excessive zeal or pushing beyond natural limits can lead to a swift depletion of one's resources, be they physical, emotional, or spiritual. It speaks to the balance required in life's pursuits, cautioning against the allure of immediate brilliance that sacrifices longevity. The flame represents our energy, passion, and drive. Burning twice as bright signifies moments of extraordinary effort or fervor. However, such intensity is often unsustainable, leading to burnout. 
Lao Tzu encourages a harmonious approach, advocating for moderation and the wisdom of pacing oneself. In embracing this balance, we find a path to enduring fulfillment, allowing our light to shine steadily over time, rather than seeking the fleeting glory of a momentary blaze. 9. If you understand others, you are smart. If you understand yourself, you are illuminated. If you overcome others, you are powerful. And if you overcome yourself, you have strength. If you know how to be satisfied, you are rich. If you can act with vigor, you have a will. If you don't lose your objectives, you can be long-lasting. If you die without loss, you are eternal. Lao Tzu's wisdom illuminates the path to true enlightenment and mastery, transcending mere intellect and physical prowess. Understanding others reflects intelligence, a capacity to navigate the external world. However, understanding oneself signifies illumination, a deeper awareness of one's inner universe, marking the essence of true wisdom. Overcoming others may show power, yet true strength lies in conquering oneself, overcoming inner demons and weaknesses. To know satisfaction is to possess wealth beyond material riches, finding contentment within. Vigorous action indicates a strong will, the drive to manifest one's intentions. Maintaining focus on your objectives ensures longevity in your endeavors, embodying resilience and persistence. Lastly, to die without loss is to achieve a state of non-attachment where the soul transcends the physical, achieving eternal peace. This passage teaches us that the greatest achievements are not those that conquer the world, but those that elevate and liberate the self. 10. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. Of a good leader who talks little, when his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did this ourselves. Lao Tzu's wisdom on leadership reveals a profound understanding of human nature and the essence of true guidance. A leader is best when people barely know he exists, suggests that the most effective leaders don't seek the spotlight, but rather foster an environment where their presence is subtly felt, guiding without imposing. This leader, who talks little, emphasizes the power of action over words, instilling confidence and autonomy within his team. The ultimate testament to such leadership is when his work is done, his aim fulfilled, and the people proclaim, we did this ourselves. This outcome reveals a leader who has skillfully empowered his followers, imbuing them with a sense of ownership and accomplishment. Such leadership doesn't just achieve goals, but nurtures a collective strength and self-reliance, leaving a lasting impact that transcends the leader's direct involvement. It's a reminder that true leadership is about elevating others, crafting a legacy of empowerment and self-achievement. 11. If you try to change it, you will ruin it. Try to hold it, and you will lose it. In the essence of Taoist philosophy, the saying, if you try to change it, you will ruin it. Try to hold it, and you will lose it, speaks to the natural flow of life and the futility of force. This wisdom teaches us that the more we attempt to control or alter the intrinsic nature of things, the more we disrupt their harmony, leading to deterioration rather than improvement. Similarly, the act of clinging too tightly to people, outcomes, or possessions paradoxically ensures their escape from our grasp. This is a counsel for embracing a state of non-interference and allowing things to evolve according to their own nature. It underscores the virtue of Wu Wei, or effortless action, which advocates for acting in alignment with the flow of life, not against it. By understanding and applying this principle, we learn to navigate existence with grace, accepting the unfolding of life with serenity and detachment, thereby preserving the beauty and integrity of the natural world and our place within it. 12. Stop thinking and end your problems. What difference between yes and no? What difference between success and failure? Must you value what others value? Avoid what others avoid. How ridiculous. Other people are excited as though they were at a parade. I alone don't care. I alone am expressionless, like an infant before it can smile. Other people have what they need. I alone possess nothing. I alone drift about, like someone without a home. 
I am like an idiot, my mind is so empty. Other people are bright, I alone am dark. Other people are sharp, I alone am dull. Other people have purpose, I alone don't know. I drift like a wave on the ocean, I blow as aimless as the wind. I am different from ordinary people, I drink from the great mother's breasts. Lao Tzu, in his profound reflection, invites us to embrace simplicity and the fundamental essence of being. Stop thinking and end your problems. Suggests that overthinking often leads to unnecessary complications and suffering. The distinctions we make between yes and no, success and failure, are constructs of societal values and expectations, which may not truly matter in the grand scheme of life. Lao Tzu questions the wisdom of blindly following these constructs, advocating for a return to what is natural and essential. His expression of feeling out of step with the excitement of others, like an infant before it can smile, or as one who possesses nothing and drifts like someone without a home, underscores a profound detachment from materialism and societal norms. This detachment is not born of ignorance, but of a deep understanding of the transient nature of existence and the futility of worldly pursuits. By claiming, I am like an idiot, my mind is so empty, Lao Tzu highlights the virtue of emptiness in Taoist philosophy where an empty mind is receptive and open to the totality of life, unburdened by prejudices and preconceptions. His comparison to being dark, dull, and without a clear purpose contrasts sharply with societal accolades for brightness, sharpness, and ambition, advocating instead for a state of natural being, unforced and unperturbed by external pressures. In declaring, I am different from ordinary people, I drink from the great mother's breasts. Lao Tzu aligns himself with the Tao, the fundamental source of all existence, symbolized as the great mother. This metaphor signifies a direct, nourishing connection to the source of life, untouched by the artificial constructs of society. Lao Tzu's words encourage us to find contentment and peace in our inherent connection to the Tao, suggesting that true wisdom and fulfillment lie in simplicity in being in harmony with the natural world and in recognizing our unity with the Tao. 13. The wise man is one who knows what he does not know. In the essence of Taoist wisdom, the saying, the wise man is one who knows what he does not know, speaks to the virtue of humility and the endless pursuit of knowledge. It signifies that true wisdom lies not in amassing information, but in recognizing the vast expanse of one's ignorance. This acknowledgement is not a sign of weakness, but a profound strength. It opens the door to genuine inquiry, growth, and enlightenment. Such a man, aware of his limitations, is perpetually open to learning and thus remains adaptable, flexible, and eternally youthful in the realm of wisdom. This principle champions the idea that the journey of understanding is infinite, and the more we discover, the more we realize the extent of what remains unknown. Hence, the wisest among us are those who embrace the humility of their own unknowing, seeing it as an opportunity for continuous evolution and deeper connection with the Tao. 14. Give evil nothing to oppose and it will disappear by itself. In the profound wisdom of Tao, Lao Tzu teaches, Give evil nothing to oppose and it will disappear by itself, highlighting the transformative power of non-contention. This principle suggests that Vavil, when met not with resistance but with the void of opposition, loses its momentum and eventually dissipates. It's akin to extinguishing a fire by removing its fuel. By not engaging directly with malice or negativity, we starve it of the attention and energy it needs to thrive. This philosophy does not advocate for passivity in the face of wrongdoing, but encourages a strategic withdrawal of the conflict that evil requires to sustain itself. It's a call to cultivate inner peace and strength, understanding that the true nature of evil is transient. By embodying tranquility and detachment, we allow the natural course of harmony to restore balance. This wisdom teaches us that the most potent response to darkness is not a direct confrontation, but the luminous presence of our serene and undisturbed spirit. 15. To understand the limitation of things, 
desire them. In the essence of Taoist wisdom, the phrase, to understand the limitation of things, desire them, unveils a profound truth about human nature in the pursuit of fulfillment. Lao Tzu suggests that by yearning for things, we naturally encounter their inherent limitations, not just in their capacity to satisfy, but also in their transient nature. This desire leads us to experience firsthand the bounds of material and worldly pursuits, teaching us that true contentment lies beyond the ephemeral. It is through this longing in the inevitable confrontation with the finite nature of our desires that we gain insight into the ultimate insufficiency of external acquisitions to bring lasting peace and happiness. Thus, by engaging with our desires, we are guided towards a deeper understanding of sufficiency, simplicity, and the value of cherishing the essence of being over the accumulation of having. This teaching encourages a shift from external seeking to internal reflection, urging us towards spiritual enlightenment and the realization that true fulfillment is found within, transcending the limitations of worldly desires. 16. If you realize that all things change, there is nothing you will try to hold on to. If you are not afraid of dying, there is nothing you cannot achieve. In the essence of Taoist wisdom, the phrase, if you realize that all things change, there is nothing you will try to hold on to. If you are not afraid of dying, there is nothing you cannot achieve, imparts profound truths about acceptance and fearlessness. Recognizing the impermanence of existence frees us from the bondage of attachment, illuminating that clinging to the transient only breeds suffering. This realization fosters a liberating detachment, allowing us to live fully in the flow of life, unencumbered by the fear of loss. Similarly, confronting the ultimate fear, fear of death, unleashes unparalleled potential. It's not about recklessness, but about understanding that life's transience is what gives it value. When we are not shackled by the dread of endings, we approach our aspirations with a boldness that can surmount any obstacle. Thus, embracing change and acknowledging our mortality cultivates a profound courage to pursue even the loftiest of dreams. For in the acceptance of life's fleeting nature lies the key to balance achievement. 17. All streams flow to the sea because it is lower than they are. Humility gives it its power. If you want to govern the people, you must place yourself below them. If you want to lead the people, you must learn how to follow them. In the wisdom of Lao Tzu, the flow of nature elucidates profound truths about power and leadership. All streams flow to the sea because it is lower than they are. Humility gives it its power. This teaches us that the sea, by being lower, becomes the gathering place of all waters illustrating that true strength lies in humility and receptiveness. This principle extends to governance and leadership. If you want to govern the people, you must place yourself below them. If you want to lead the people, you must learn how to follow them. Here, Lao Tzu highlights that effective leadership doesn't tower above, imposing its will. Instead, it positions itself beneath, in service, and in listening to the needs and wisdom of the people. Such a leader gains genuine respect and authority not by demanding it, but by earning it through understanding, empathy, and humility, guiding by example and letting the natural flow of collective wisdom lead the way. This is the essence of true leadership, one that nurtures, supports, and elevates others, recognizing that the greatest leaders are those who serve. Teen. The further one goes, the less one knows. In the tapestry of Taoist wisdom, the saying, the further one goes, the less one knows, reflects the paradox of seeking knowledge. Lao Tzu teaches us that the pursuit of understanding, when external and expansive, often leads us away from the profound simplicity and truth at the core of existence. This journey outward in search of answers can paradoxically distance us from the innate wisdom within suggesting that true enlightenment comes from a place of humility and inner reflection rather than accumulation of external facts. It serves as a reminder that the essence of wisdom lies not in the quantity of knowledge acquired, but in the depth of understanding and the simplicity with which we view the world. As we delve deeper into the complexities of life, 
we are encouraged to embrace the simplicity of not knowing, finding peace in the mystery, and recognizing that the true depth of wisdom is in acknowledging the limits of our knowledge. 19. Love. Embracing Tao, you become embraced. Supple, breathing gently, you become reborn. Clearing your vision, you become clear. Nurturing your beloved, you become impartial. Opening your heart, you become accepted. Accepting the world, you embrace Tao. Bearing and nurturing. Creating but not owning. Giving without demanding. Controlling without authority. This is love. In the essence of Tao, love is the ultimate expression of harmony with the universe. By embracing Tao or the way, one becomes embraced by the infinite compassion and balance of existence. To be supple and breathe gently signifies a state of being that is open to change and renewal, leading to rebirth. Clearing one's vision to become clear reflects the process of shedding biases and seeing the world with clarity and understanding. Nurturing your beloved without expectation allows you to embody impartiality, fostering unconditional love. Opening your heart to others and accepting the world invites acceptance and unity with Tao, symbolizing a profound connection with all that is. This passage elucidates the Taoist philosophy of love as an action without possession, control, or expectation. Love, in its truest form, involves supporting and nurturing without claiming ownership, giving freely without seeking return, and guiding without imposing authority. It teaches us to engage with the world and others in a manner that is selfless and in harmony with the natural order. In doing so, we embody the virtues of Tao, creating, nurturing, and loving all things without the need for recognition or reciprocation. This, Lao Tzu suggests, is the purest form of love a reflection of the universal Tao in our actions and interactions. 20. When people see some things as beautiful, other things become ugly. When people see some things as good, other things become bad. Lao Tzu's wisdom in the phrase, when people see some things as beautiful, other things become ugly. When people see some things as good, other things become bad, delves into the duality of human perception. This teaching underscores the subjective nature of our judgments and how the act of valuing one aspect necessitates the devaluation of another. By labeling something as beautiful, we inherently define what is not beautiful by contrast, creating divisions and distinctions that did not exist before our judgment. Similarly, deeming something as good sets a standard that renders other things bad in comparison. This insight reveals the relative nature of our evaluations, encouraging a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness and balance in all things. Lao Tzu invites us to look beyond binary opposites and to see the world in its entirety, recognizing that these distinctions are often constructions of our minds rather than absolute truths. In doing so, we may find harmony and balance, appreciating the world without the need for comparison and judgment. 21. Close your mouth, block off your senses, blunt your sharpness, untie your knots, soften your glare, settle your dust. This is the primal identity. In this profound directive, Lao Tzu invites us to return to our essence, our primal identity, by shedding the externalities that distract and distance us from our true selves. Close your mouth suggests a movement toward silence encouraging introspection over outward expression. Block off your senses calls for a detachment from the overwhelming stimuli of the external world, allowing for inner peace. Blunt your sharpness means to temper our aggressiveness and competitive edge, promoting harmony. Untie your knots refers to resolving inner conflicts and complexities, seeking simplicity. Soften your glare advises us to approach life with gentleness instead of intensity. Settle your dust is about calming the turmoil within, allowing our true nature to emerge clear and undisturbed. Together, these practices guide us to a state of serenity and self-awareness where we can reconnect with the core of our being, uncluttered by the chaos of life. This state of purity and simplicity is what Lao Tzu defines as our primal identity, a place of deep connection and universal truth. 22. 
When there is no desire, all things are at peace. In the depth of Taoist wisdom, the phrase, when there is no desire, all things are at peace, illuminates the profound truth that the root of turmoil lies in our desires. Desire, in its myriad forms, propels us into a state of constant seeking, an endless pursuit of externalities that we believe will bring fulfillment. However, this pursuit often leads to imbalance, as it takes us away from the harmony of our natural state. Lao Tzu teaches that by releasing these desires, by ceasing to cling to the idea of how things should be, we return to a state of peace. This peace is not mere absence of conflict. It is a profound harmony with the way of the universe, a deep acceptance of the present moment and everything it encompasses. It suggests that true contentment and tranquility arise not from fulfilling our desires, but from understanding and embracing the natural flow of life where all things are interconnected and in balance. This wisdom guides us towards a life of simplicity, contentment, and peace, encouraging us to look within rather than without for true fulfillment. 23. Trying to understand is like straining through muddy water. Have the patience to wait. Be still and allow the mud to settle. Lao Tzu teaches us that the quest for understanding can sometimes lead us into a state of confusion, much like straining through muddy water. In our eagerness to find answers, our mental turmoil can cloud our clarity, making the truth seem elusive. He advises us to embrace patience, a virtue often overlooked in our fast-paced world. Have the patience to wait. Be still and allow the mud to settle is a metaphor for allowing time and stillness to clear our minds. Just as muddy water becomes clear when left undisturbed, so too will the answers we seek emerge from the quietude of our patience. This wisdom encourages us to step back from our relentless pursuit of immediate understanding and to trust in the natural unfolding of insight. In doing so, we align with the Taoist principle of Wu Wei, acting through non-action, and discover that clarity arises not necessarily through forceful effort, but through the serene acceptance of life's flow. 24. He who conquers others is strong. He who conquers himself is mighty. In the essence of Taoist wisdom, the phrase he who conquers others is strong, he who conquers himself is mighty, reveals the profound distinction between external power and internal strength. Conquering others demonstrates physical or situational strength, a fleeting dominance reliant on external circumstances. This form of strength is temporary, as it depends on the presence of something weaker to overcome. However, the act of conquering oneself signifies a deeper, more enduring might. It involves mastering one's impulses, desires, and fears, achieving a level of self-discipline and inner peace that is unshakable by external forces. This internal victory denotes a supreme form of power, for it is far more challenging to overcome one's own shadows and limitations than to exert control over others. Such self-conquest leads to true might, as it reflects an inner harmony and resilience that transcends the fluctuations of the external world. In this light, Lao Tzu teaches us that the ultimate measure of strength lies not in dominance over others, but in the mastery of oneself. 25. Love is a decision, not an emotion. In the profound wisdom that flows through the Tao, the saying, love is a decision, warrants not an emotion, resonates with the understanding that love transcends the fleeting nature of feelings. This perspective illuminates love as a deliberate choice, a committed action beyond the spontaneous stirrings of the heart. Emotions like the changing winds come and go, but the decision to love, akin to the steady course of a river, endures through the seasons of life. It suggests that true love is an act of will, a continuous commitment to cherish, respect, and uphold another, even when the initial blaze of emotion may wane. This concept teaches us the power of love as a foundational choice, grounding relationships in the fertile soil of conscious commitment rather than the shifting sands of momentary feeling. Through this wisdom, we are guided to view love not as a passive state to be fallen into, but as an active journey of growth, understanding, and unwavering choice. 26. A good traveler has no fixed plans and is not intent upon arriving. 
A good artist lets his intuition lead him wherever it wants. A good scientist has freed himself of concepts and keeps his mind open to what is. Lao Tzu's wisdom speaks to the art of living freely, unburdened by rigid expectations and the illusion of control. A good traveler, unattached to fixed plans or destinations, embodies flexibility and openness, finding richness in the journey itself rather than the arrival. This traveler trusts the path to reveal its own destinations, embracing the unexpected. Similarly, a good artist relinquishes the need for predetermined outcomes, allowing intuition to guide creativity. This surrender to the spontaneous flow of inspiration uncovers the true essence of artistry. A good scientist, too, transcends the confines of preconceived concepts, maintaining an open mind. This openness is crucial for true discovery, as it allows the scientist to observe the world as it is, not as it is presumed to be. In essence, Lao Tzu teaches us that liberation from our attachments to outcomes, ideas, and methods frees us to experience the depth of the journey, the authenticity of creation, and the thrill of discovery, respectively. 27. Thus, the Master is available to all people and doesn't reject anyone. He is ready to use all situations and doesn't waste anything. This is called embodying the light. In the wisdom of Tao, the Master's way teaches us a profound lesson on acceptance and utility. Thus, the Master is available to all people and doesn't reject anyone, illuminates the virtue of universal acceptance, embodying an openness of heart and mind that embraces all without judgment. This inclusivity reflects a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings, recognizing that every individual, regardless of their path, has intrinsic value and a role within the cosmic tapestry. He is ready to use all situations and doesn't waste anything, further demonstrates the master's skillful adaptation, finding value and opportunity in every circumstance. This signifies a harmonious alignment with the flow of life, where nothing is seen as superfluous or unworthy, but as essential parts of the whole. This is called embodying the light, encapsulates the essence of living with wisdom, compassion, and resourcefulness. To embody the light is to live in a way that illuminates the path for others, showcasing how to navigate life's complexities with grace and to transform challenges into stepping stones towards enlightenment. 28. What is a good man but a bad man's teacher? What is a bad man but a good man's job? If you don't understand this, you will get lost, however intelligent you are. It is the great secret. Lao Tzu's wisdom illuminates the interconnectedness of all beings, suggesting that within the duality of good and bad lies, profound lessons and responsibilities. What is a good man but a bad man's teacher suggests that those who embody virtue and wisdom have an inherent role to play in guiding those who stray from such paths. It is not through condemnation, but through guidance that transformation is possible. Conversely, what is a bad man but a good man's job reflects the idea that the presence of wrongdoing is not merely a societal blight, but a call to action for the virtuous an opportunity to enact goodness and foster change. This teaching underscores the essence of mutual dependency. Understanding this dynamic is crucial for navigating life's moral complexities. Without this comprehension, one may become lost in the superficial distinctions between good and bad, missing the underlying unity that binds all existence. This, Lao Tzu posits, is the great secret, recognizing and embracing our roles in the perpetual dance of teaching, learning, and evolving, regardless of our intelligence or status. 29. Success is as dangerous as failure. Hope is as hollow as fear. Lao Tzu, in his profound wisdom, teaches that success is as dangerous as failure. Hope is as hollow as fear, guiding us to understand the delicate balance of life's dualities. Success, much like failure, carries its own peril. It can lead to pride and complacency, distancing us from the humility and continuous effort required to maintain harmony. Similarly, hope and fear are two sides of the same coin, both rooted in a future that is not yet unfolded. Excessive hope can blind us to the realities of the present, just as fear can paralyze us from taking action. Lao Tzu encourages us to find equilibrium, 
To live in the present moment without being overly attached to the outcomes of success or the pitfalls of failure, and to approach life with a balanced perspective where hope and fear do not dictate our actions, but instead we move with the flow of the Tao, embracing the journey with equanimity and mindfulness. 30. Hope and fear are both phantoms that arise from thinking of the self. When we don't see the self as self, what do we have to fear? Lao Tzu might say, hope and fear, those twins of the mind, arise when we are entangled in the notion of self. They are but phantoms, products of our attachment to personal outcomes and ego. The essence of this teaching lies in transcending the limited view of oneself as a separate entity. When we dissolve the boundaries of the self, recognizing our interconnectedness with the universe, hope and fear lose their grip on us. Without the self as a reference point, fear has no foundation, for there is nothing to lose or protect. This wisdom guides us to a state of being where we live in harmony with the flow of life, free from the dualities that disturb our peace. It invites us to witness existence from a place of detachment where hope and fear cannot sway us, revealing a path to true freedom and fearlessness. 31. True words aren't eloquent. Eloquent words aren't true. Wise men don't need to prove their point. Men who need to prove their point aren't wise. Lao Tzu teaches that authenticity transcends the need for embellishment. True words aren't eloquent. Eloquent words aren't true. Reflects the principle that truth often lies in simplicity unadorned by the flourish of rhetoric. Truth doesn't require decoration to resonate with the essence of what is real. Conversely, eloquence, while pleasing to the ear, may distort or mask the underlying truth, suggesting that profound truths are best conveyed in their most unvarnished form. Furthermore, wise men don't need to prove their point. Men who need to prove their point aren't wise, speaks to the confidence of wisdom in its own merit. True wisdom is self-evident and does not seek validation through argument or persuasion. The need to prove oneself often stems from insecurity or ego, rather than genuine understanding. Through this, Lao Tzu invites us to value the substance over the superficial, and to recognize that the essence of wisdom and truth requires no external validation to affirm its value. 32. The master has no possessions. The more he does for others, the happier he is. The more he gives to others, the wealthier he is. Lao Tzu teaches that authenticity transcends the need for embellishment. True words aren't eloquent. Eloquent words aren't true. Reflects the principle that truth often lies in simplicity, unadorned by the flourish of rhetoric. Truth doesn't require decoration to resonate with the essence of what is real. Conversely, Eloquence, while pleasing to the ear, may distort or mask the underlying truth, suggesting that profound truths are best conveyed in their most unvarnished form. Furthermore, wise men don't need to prove their point. Men who need to prove their point aren't wise, speaks to the confidence of wisdom in its own merit. True wisdom is self-evident and does not seek validation through argument or persuasion. The need to prove oneself often stems from insecurity or ego rather than genuine understanding. Through this, Lao Tzu invites us to value the substance over the superficial and to recognize that the essence of wisdom and truth requires no external validation to affirm its value. 33. Countless words count less than the silent balance between yin and yang. In the Tapestry of Existence, Lao Tzu teaches that countless words count less than the silent balance between yin and yang a profound reminder of the ineffable power of harmony and equilibrium. This wisdom transcends the realm of spoken language, suggesting that the essence of true understanding and the universe's balance lies beyond the confines of verbal expression. Yin and Yang represent the dual forces of nature, complementary yet opposing, whose balance is essential for the natural order and inner peace. Their silent harmony speaks to the heart of existence, teaching that actions and being in balance convey truths deeper than a multitude of words can express. In essence, this teaches us to seek harmony in our lives, recognizing that the deepest truths are often felt and lived rather than articulated, embodying the serene balance that governs all.